Congratulations, Dave. What a brilliant film you've made. Wow, thank you. Thank you. And receiving a standing ovation for the premiere of Monkey Man at SXW. Dave, I've never seen you so emotional. What yeah. were the thoughts? <laughs> well, yes. What were the thoughts going through your mind at that moment? Uh, well, when we won the audience award? Yes. Oh, uh, man. I mean, I've poured blood, sweat, and tears every every part of myself into this. You know, uh, I've turned down, you know, jobs that I only dreamt of having as an actor to continue birthing this little gremlin of a movie, you know, and uh, to, to, you know, come out of this kind of dark edit, whole of this movie and 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 go and show it to an audience for the first time and it kind of you know we had cues going around three blocks in the street and i was worried is anyone going to remember who i am are they going to show up and it you know it, it kind of brought the roof down and it was a lot i i i was i i was very emotional i i had to turn away because i was crying and it was it was a lot you put everything into it and there's nowhere to hide you can't blame the director because i'm the director i can't blame the producer i can't blame the lead actor the writer so it was very exposing yeah and you've taken one of the oldest indian mythologies anumanji and gave it a modern spin so through this process of writing and directing how did you make sure that it's going to appeal to an international audience i just you know being someone that was, you know, born and raised in London and having, you know, one foot in London, one foot in India, one of the most, you know, exhilarating and, and electrifying parts of our mythology was the story of Hanuman to me as a young boy, what he represented, his strength, his courage, his nobility, you know, you know, even his lack of confidence at times and how he grew into a hero at the end of that epic. All of these things, I was like, you know, I can take my leading character and he can draw inspiration from this this icon as well and you know um we can start with this underdog and grow him into uh you know a, a sort of avenger of sorts and the way the world's taking to it and to the culture you know and i've tried to put as much of our culture in there from you know ustad zakir hussein you know playing the tabla in a huge sequence to the hijra community to the beautiful costumes obviously the mythology you know, to even the the cool underground Indian rappers we have in there, we have it all, you know? No, it is. It's wrapped all really well and really beautifully also. Despite the mythology, it is a jaw-dropping action thriller, and it's a fight against oppression. So what compelled you to tell this story? I mean, I just, you know, I think, you know, sometimes the revenge kind of genre, you know, you, you just have these kind of senseless movies of just, you know, violence upon violence and there's no real catalyst or anything and i wanted to ground it with some real, some some real context some, some real pain you know i you know i i wanted to talk about violence against women i wanted to talk about religion and politics i wanted to talk about the marginalized i wanted to talk about po police cor corruption and brutality i wanted to talk about the the rich and poor the caste system all of these things exist in india they exist everywhere in the world, actually, you know, uh, and uh, so in a way, we are the underdogs of our own story, everyone, you, me, and, and for me, I wanted to create an anthem for the underdogs, someone that doesn't look like the normal hero with the massive muscles that you know is going to win, but someone that is this skinny man and who loses and fails and fails and tries and fails again. It's about his journey, you know, to 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 reach justice Dave, when you're talking about the pain and the violence i've always seen you as an empathetic and emotive performer Thank you. but with monkey man though you're displaying all the emotions you also turn out to be a badass so <laughs> what challenges did you face while directing yourself this is the first time right you're directing yourself it was to tap into that kind of like more ruthless kind of self was was difficult it was probably one of the hardest acting challenges for me to date you know and I, my hat off to all those amazing action stars who can pull it off because it's the moments in between the action in between the punches where you have to sell them a moment it's you're really going big um but uh 
again, you know, if something like that was to happen to someone you love so dearly, you know, for me, we have a prayer in the, in the movie. And actually, the, at the end of the movie, the prayer is recontextualized and pointed towards a mother, you know, you know, when he talks about worshiping God, he's talking about worshiping his mother. And it's like, how far would you go to right a wrong done to someone that you love so dearly? That's the core of the movie, you know? Yeah. And talking about love, you mentioned that Monkey Man is a love letter to your family. So we'd love to hear a bit about that aspect. I mean, my my granddad, my father, from them telling me these stories of Hanuman and, you know, uh, to me, idolizing my mother and seeing the sacrifice she's put into me, pushing me to go into my first martial arts lesson. You know, I, I went to karate and I wet myself. I was young. I didn't know my right and left. I was, you know, a dyslexic kid. I never wanted to do it again, but she knew I loved martial arts, so she took me to many other classes till I found this Taekwondo school. And, and that's where I grew confidence and discipline and got a black belt. You know, it's, it's all of it is in there, you know, for, you know, it's, it is a love letter to my, to my parents. No, all the best, Dave. You're taking this love letter now to, you know, all those, uh, all of your fans out there and congratulations once again. And thank, thank you. you so much for taking out time today, sending you lots of love from Australia. Appreciate you. Thank you. Lots of love. See thank ya. You. Thank <music> you.